So, do you want to write a book? I think that's how it started. Yeah, they got it. How did you guys meet? <laughs> I stalked her. I'll let Steve tell that story. Well, essentially, I read the book uh, Trauma in the Twelve Steps, and that was something as a budding trauma therapist I was thinking about a lot. So I read this, you know, Jamie's book and I was like, oh my god, she figured it out. So that's when I stalked her and I found her. And I got an email one day and he's like, my name is Dr. Steven Danziger and I'm the clinical director of this facility and we see you're coming to LA for this conference. Would you consider coming and doing your workshop on trauma and the 12 steps? And yeah, I remember that delightful first conversation we had and it just seemed like, wow, we're both 12 step people who get trauma and we're artists by background. And it just seemed to be a good combination for collaboration. And we have a thing for mindfulness. And we have a thing for mindfulness. It's mystified me as many great books as there are out there about EMDR. Nobody's directly tackled this yet. As huge as mindfulness has gotten in the clinical fields, kind of like, why hasn't anybody written this yet? And so much of my experience has been when I ask myself that question, that's the universe's way of telling me, well, you have to write it. So, and when I thought about doing the book on EMDR and mindfulness, I knew I couldn't have written the book I want to write unless you were Right. You're Buddhist mindfulness and I have more of the secular approach to it. But I think that our perspectives there that listen, you don't have to be a Buddhist to do this, but because you have so much of that rich history and training, I just think your perspective, plus obviously our shared goals with trauma work, EMDR work and trauma, it, it just will make for a great collaborative volume. The book is about uh, EMDR therapy, which has now had uh, over 30 years of history of becoming one of the most researched therapies on earth. Um, and mindfulness, which a uh, 2600-year-old version described by Buddha and then all the other descriptions that have happened since. Mm -hmm. And taking those two powerful, powerful modalities and putting them together as they already have been together, but really putting them together even yet still more uh, robustly, mm -hmm. resulting in a move from trauma-informed care to trauma-focused care. If we're going to provide true care, mm -hmm. it needs to come from a place of acknowledging the role of trauma mm -hmm. in its ideology and its treatment and how it affects not just the individual who are uh, sitting with if it's an individual, mm -hmm. but communities and family members and everyone else. In addition to receiving endorsements from Sharon Salzberg, Trudy Goodman, Jack Cornfield, Diana Winston, and Martine Batchelor, Steve and I are delighted that his long-term collaborator, Noah Levine, Dharma teacher and founder of the Refuge Recovery Movement, contributed by writing our foreword. In his foreword, Levine reveals some interesting information about the mindful origins of EMDR therapy. One of the first people that Francine Shapiro went to for mindfulness training as such was mm -hmm. his father, mm -hmm. Stephen Levine. EMDR often gets a bad rap for being such an overly technical protocol. And yes, it could be clunky and difficult to learn, but there's really so much mindfulness infused into it, especially with uh, invitations like notice that, go with that, uh, what are you noticing in your body, the idea of sitting with that judgment. And something that we do in the book that I think is really cool is we go through the kind of step by steps, especially of the phases three through six parts of the protocol, and really highlight just how much mindfulness practice is inherent, even in those very potentially clunky steps. Steve and I wish to thank the entire team at Springer Publishing Company for their faith in the project. And to all of our trainees who have passed through our programs, thank you for further inspiring our work. You can order your copy of the book online wherever books are sold or through Springer. To learn more about our work, please visit www.
www.instituteforcreativemindfulness.com. And here we are. And here we are, and like you said, it's probably not talked about enough, so we're filling the vacuum. <laughs>